and the J's. This is turquoise. This is my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And today our topics are child support obligations. Um, the black lady in Rayleigh County who called the cops because um, her home was being invaded and the cops treated her as if she was the intruder. Lauren London's pregnancy rumors. Gorilla Glue Girl and much more. So let's talk about Miss Berry. What are okay, well first she said, let me go. I'm gonna read what she posted. Well she feels like no one, no parent should be obligated to pay child support because if you make enough money, let's say like you're a celebrity, you shouldn't have to pay for that for your previous spouse or child's father, mother to live a certain lifestyle like you live. I so agree. She, she, and she, yeah, so that's how she feels. Um, Nisi, what do you think? I get why she feels that way. Um, because it, uh, it's odd that she's, well, she's paying alimony and child support, but if I'm not mistaken, she has custody of her kid. Now, if, if you're kids. sharing, if you're sharing, but no, this kid, she only has one kid with this guy who she's paying alimony. Her oldest child is by somebody else. But um, if y'all are sharing custody, I don't think child support is necessary, but if one parent has primary custody and another parent doesn't have all of the responsibilities as the other, I think child support, support is a necess necessity. I don't know so much about alimony. I've never been married, uh, so I don't really know much about that, but she's paying them alimony too. And I think she's just probably like tired of it, but that's crazy because if she has the kid, why do she have to pay child support to him? Yeah. And then did he live that lifestyle before he met her? Because if he did, well, he's famous. He's an okay, then he should make his own money. money. He's, uh, he's a he should make his own money, money, not be asking her for money. To me, when you're a man, a grown man, and you have babies, and you ask a woman for money, I don't care who got more money, you kind of wimpy. She put it for men and women. Yeah, like, she don't believe it for that women should get it or men well, should get it. Yeah. women usually stay at home and keep the kid, though. Yeah, usually. That's why I said I don't know what their custody agreement is, because if they share custody where he has the child half the time and she has a child half the time, I don't see why child support would be necessary. But if she has primary custody, custody, which is what I think the case is, that is weird that she would have to pay him child support. That is weird. Mm -hmm. And they probably have her paying child support because if they share custody for the time that she's not with her, she has right. to take well, care of Well, he's an actor too, Nisi. Yeah, he's yeah. not giving no movies. But that's because you don't even know who I'm talking about. If I show I know, you like, I know who you're talking I know who you're talking about. She has two um, children by two different men, so I know who you're referring to. I'm just saying I ain't never seen him in no movies. I've seen him, seen him in a lot. He plays well, in a lot. We shouldn't be acting. Which are also movies. Yeah, I watch a lot of movies. Um, so if you guys are tuning in, leaving the comments of your opinion about child support, I think okay, I, I don't see anything wrong with it, especially if you need help, like if you're just regular folks like us, and yeah. you know you're a single parent and the, your kids' fathers and in the picture. I don't see anything wrong with paying a certain amount because we have to pay rent, mm -hmm. you know, buy clothes, you know, yeah, pay rent, pay bills, um, pay for the school clothing, pay for lunches, pay for all this stuff, electricity, if you need medicine, doctors, yeah, bills. so I don't see why wouldn't the other parent want to help, help. Yeah. yeah, that's why child support exists, unfortunately, because if, if you're not forced to do it, you they won't, won't do, do it. it, yeah. Oh, you got her. Yeah. Carlton. She's the breadwinner. How did he live before he, he met her? I think she just makes more money than him because she's more famous after. Okay, but don't look like they stayed married too long. I think you have to be married. For yeah, yeah, uh, that's why I think it's odd that get get he's getting all out of money. I don't think they were married for more than 10 years. I don't even know if they made it to 10. I mean, I think you should be married for a while before you can just start getting her money because she was 
famous, if he's famous, he should be famous. Money. Too. He's famous. And that's too. the thing, like when you have okay, when you're worth so much money, you can also look into prenups. That's, that's true. true. You know, that way you can protect yourself. That way you guys split. You're not going to pay any alimony. Or and that's what Dr. Dre is going through with his uh, about to be ex-wife. But you know what I don't understand about Dr. Dre and him and stuff? Why not give her some money? He ain't going to be able to She wants out. more than what he was when he, he was willing to give her well, money. Well, I don't want more. If she's greedy, I don't she's know. Greedy, but yeah. she I don't do more. that greediness. Because he was, yeah, he was willing to give her money. She just wants more. Well, that's just greedy because she yeah. probably won't even be able to spend all the money that he gave her. That's ridiculous. She's like, oh, he can afford to give me this. Well, just take what it is. Whatever. Especially if, is that, if I'm not mistaken, they had a pre prenup, didn't they? Oh, well, then he ain't got nothing to worry about. I, I think they know. did. I don't know if they did or didn't. Misha Lay should get some of that money. So. I'm telling right. you. Misha Lay, she's the one who went through it. Yeah. Um, but anyways. Where are the cocktails? <laughs> I have water tonight. I have tea yeah. tonight. Carlton. Hey, Carlton. Thanks for watching. But, yeah. Okay. Um, moving along. So, in Rayleigh uh, County, a black lady contacted the police because there was a intruder in her home and when they got there they treated her as if she was the intruder um the cops had her standing outside of her home while they were inside speaking to this man the two of them there was two of them okay well i only saw the one on the video and then a whole bunch of other cops come towards the end running in um Asking him like, what's what's your apartment number? What's your address? So while she's up, to my, this is my house. This is my house. My kids' stuff is in there, and my cat is in there, and all kinds of stuff. And you said that he took a shower and put on her boyfriend. He put, uh, he took a shower, put on her ex boyfriend's clothes, clothes yeah. ate, made himself some food, and I'm like everything. And it made me think about that. For some reason, that police lady that went into the wrong apartment it and killed, and, that, and killed that guy. Oh man, that just it triggered me. Uh, what's your thoughts about that, mom? I'm going to say my thoughts until the end. Hey, Leland. Thanks for watching. I'm going to say my thoughts so that can go all up in my, you know, my question. They should have took them outside mm -hmm. and let her go into her home and then they could have figured it out that way. You don't have her standing out while he's in her house and her stuff is in there. I found that very disrespectful. And, yeah. and it's so odd because when, like there was a, a video of a man where his alarm was triggered and the cops came and like pulled him out and he was like in his underwear and like y'all didn't do that to them. And the, the woman, owner of the house is clearly telling you that the people mm -hmm. do not live there. Can I ask the question? Absolutely. What color was she? Oh, it was a guy. He was black. No. What color was the woman that the two guys was in her house? She was black. Yeah. What color was the guys in her house? White. What color was the... The man who they dragged out was black. <laughs> okay. See? That's well, what, we said that's this why week that they don't even hide it anymore. Uh, it's but that's why obvious. I be so upset and why I feel the way I feel about certain races because they but so out and not, blatant with it. But, but who made the system? White people, stop it. Don't tell me I'm wrong because I know I'm right. She should. She really should. That's crazy. And now that they have stuff on video, what's crazy is they don't even care. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lee was right. White people treating white people with kid gloves, but then they brutalize us. They even a nine-year-old, you spraying her in the face with yeah. things. But burglars right now, if you want to calmly talk to them, no, get them and the tell fuck out her of her to house. shut up and tell her to be quiet. They're trying to figure it out. No, you get the fuck up out of yeah, my house. Yeah, they should have did the guy the way they did the nine-year-old. Exactly. Hey, hey, them and them and them them in the car. Yeah, yeah. They them was grown men, and that was just a little girl. That's crazy. Yeah, it does piss you off. It really. Does. I mean, that's why I and feel the way. Saying, oh, y'all need to calm down. How do you expect people to be calm when it's yeah. what's right? They're gonna treat you like you're wrong. What's the truth? They're gonna treat it like it's false. So therefore, the Bible is new. Yeah, the the Bible is being fulfilled. But believe me, 
I'm not happy about the way these people act. So I'm acting now. You don't act out and go all belligerent and crazy though. Like out in public. Not what we're like. Chuck, Chuck, you ain't never seen Mama me act the fool. No, no. Okay. You ain't never okay. seen me act the fool in public. I think you, you can. You sometimes you do. You hold back until that full moment. On. You don't full on go nuts. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you, you like, go off in a comedy manner. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like you don't go shooting up places. Oh no, I'm not that far. <laughs> but yeah. I shall make sure so like they, they know what I'm saying. She's not forward with her words. Yeah. She's not trying to hurt that's that's what what I'm, know what that's I'm saying. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, like, damn sure they know what I think. It's disgusting. That's true that I'm I'm not fighting. Do you dare say white people's number? Oh, yeah, yeah, Leland. <laughs> yeah, you know I like to say white people. As many times as I say it, they're going to probably scramble me. But now y'all know why I'm getting scrambled. <laughs> but it is. It's, it's highly disgusting. I and it's just so blatant that you can't ignore it. Like with the Trump. Oh, Lord. That oh, one is what we talked Trump. about. Yeah. Go ahead. But they see that he... He literally didn't care, and they still ain't going to impeach him. I think that's... They ain't going to convict him. He's yeah, they ain't going to... Okay, well, they ain't going to convict him. I think that's wrong, He's too, to because... He's what, 2024? But you know what? He probably won't even be alive. I ain't trying to say that in 2024. Because, oh, first no. of all... Oh, them evil people live along. He lost the election. He stood up there and held the Bible upside down. Who's that's the, the old man? Ain't the old man. Who's the You know who's the side? But it's like don't. It, it, it's I like don't ever say anything, that, uh, especially black people, about you know holding yourselves accountable or uh, law and order. If y'all uh, don't convict this man, then I don't want to hear shit about blue lives matter. Yep. Never say blue lives matter to me ever again in your life because it's a blatant lie. Y'all mm -hmm. only say that to black people when yep. black people care about black people. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's this impeachment trial just proved everything that black people said. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. If y'all gonna let him get away with this, if y'all gonna let him get away with this, don't ever fix your mouth to say anything to us about violence, about black uh, or blue lives. Don't ever talk to us about law and order. Because y'all y'all are all complicit in this and y'all can't say shit, don't get And when uh, I hope Joe Biden fucking uh, runs around naked shooting a gun in the air and I dare y'all to try to freaking impeach him. I dare y'all. I dare y'all. I would dare y'all. He, 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 do something just so that they could try to say something. The thought of him, they'll have him impeached. They wouldn't, he wouldn't, like no, I said, they, 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 they better not. They right better now. not. Y'all, 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 y'all. Just like how Obama don't want to But that's another president for all people. Yeah. Now he, he white and he for all people. He, he can want to help everybody. Well, so, that's how the president's supposed to be. Right, but look how Trump was. And look how four years they let him do whatever he wanted to. Hire his family. Yeah, I don't want to hear nothing put them about all on the uh, pay the deficit roll. or what he wants to spend. I don't want to hear nothing about that. Because I think Trump took a lot of... Any and everything I think he wants to Trump might have gave y'all a couple of checks, but I think he took a lot of that money with him. Oh, he did. He made like almost a half a billion dollars. No, I meant... When he did the bill, I think he took a lot of that money. Oh, yeah, with I'm him. sure. He because gave where were the vaccines people. that they supposed to have? Everything mm -hmm. he do, everybody ignore. That's what makes me upset. Yeah, I agree with that. Leland said they put new hearts in them, <laughs> demonic white people. They need to. Yeah. And then Carlton said Democrats, Republicans are on the same team. They have interchangeable members, defense of uh, offense. And their special team squad, the social media and press, we're the ones getting and have been played. It's just that simple. Okay, Carlton, we'll see you in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> and I, but you know what? We'll yeah. see him in 2024. Well, I mean, of course, there's going to be those in every group, you yeah. know. There's going to be those in every group. That's true. You don't see the but there you'll first, agree, uh, but you'll agree with policies of <laughs> one group over another. You'll, 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 you, I hate saying the lesser of the two evils because evil is evil, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's just there's some policies that I agree with. Left-leaning, 
not right leaning, so that's why I usually vote Democrat. But um, yeah, I agree with Mom. Just saying, it's just it's crazy to me. I'm, I've been watching it all day. So, but anyways, we weren't even supposed to be talking about. No, that. we was. But it kind of tied in a little bit to that. So another story. Okay. Well, first of all, before I go to Gorilla Girl. Gorilla hair, not a gorilla, gorilla blue, blue girl. girl. Uh, Lauren London. So there was pregnancy rumors that sparked um, about her being pregnant. Apparently, she was being attacked on social media about it because, you know, she's the ex girl. Well, Nipsey Hussle yeah, died yeah, Nipsey almost Hussle. two years ago. But, but my thing is, are you not able to move on yes, she is if able you to lose on. a spouse? You know what I mean? Of course. Like, even if she was pregnant, that's her life, that's her right. Mm -hmm. You know? How did they know that she wasn't so hurt by But even if she wasn't, the thing is, is, you know, she woke up to chaos and she's like, no, mm -hmm. I'm not pregnant. But even if she was pregnant, who are y'all to tell her she can't move on? You know where I years. think a lot of people is wrong. They want actors, singers, rappers to be models for their kids, role models. Stop that. Parents! Yeah. Yes. Supposed to be the yes. role models. That way, anything happening in the street, if you don't want your child involved, you control it. Actors, singers, rappers, and stuff, they not role models. They not. You, your kids, role models. Okay, Leland. Okay, you caught on to what the last story was? <laughs> no, we lack Because he asked. And now his um, his fan is going to think that this woman's very lying. Uh, but yeah, shoot it. Let it. Let her move on. Don't she deserves not. to be happy. Yeah. yeah. If she was pregnant, I would say congratulations. There is no reason why y'all should expect her to just wallow in misery because her man. that woman a break. I thought that was ridiculous for them to attack her like that. She has every right to move on. God rest Nipsey's soul, but Lauren deserve, deserves uh -huh. love. That's true. And it has been two years. I mean, it's yeah, a it's horrible been, situation. It's a horrible Horrific, situation, but uh, tra people have to move on. Anytime you lose somebody, you have to find yeah. a way to carry on. Uh -huh. Who y'all sleeping with? You know. <laughs> <laughs> they sleep with Y'all do murderer, so let's mm -hmm. not <laughs> let's not judge her. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I thought, Gorilla Glue Girl. Oh Lord. First of all, I'm just gonna she, say, she, oh, go who won't say here that stuff that close to their scalp? That's what I put on our page. I said, so is it that important to have your edges and your hair laid <laughs> that you gotta use Gorilla Glue? She I, didn't know. I think but I is. think. You that, 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 that stuff that she usually uses that's for hair, mm -hmm. it is to keep the hair in place for long. It goes, it's almost like a gel but spray. But when you're saying, dang, is it that important? I think. That's what she didn't went through. But I mean, I think the gorilla, her using the Gorilla Glue was stupid. But her hairstyle would have been cute if she hadn't <laughs> used the Gorilla Glue. Because it, it, she was stuck with that hairstyle. For and months. Get for months. Uh, for that doctor. Yes. Yeah, That was, for that. that was amazing. That was amazing. But also dumb of her to um, think that the co company is responsible. You find that shit yeah, in the Harvard section. Uh, How's she going to sue them? Yeah, talking you about use she it at your own yeah, risk. You use it at your own risk. And it says on the label, don't use on skin, don't use on clothing. She it's said it didn't say hair. hair. But that's how you your skin. Your, your hair how can I your your skin? Skin? put it on your yeah, hair? Your scalp not that, a part of your that's skin? That's what I saw her on something. That's but what your scalp not she's a part of your skin? She's a little special, though. But she was just thank God for that doctor. It won't move. move. You know, she seemed a little. Somebody did a remix out of it. It was hilarious. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that, you know, she got a doctor to help her get that out. That That's that's great that yeah, she got help for that. for that doctor. But I will say this. Everybody agree with you that Yeah, I'm getting a lot of uh, praise for her commentary. Mm -hmm. But I will say yeah. this because I saw, I got into an argument with somebody online about the, like, just comments uh, on the situation. Like, you know, now that she's fine. 
the sun, dude them showing out, and I was trying to say some of the comments, but I'm going to address it here because I keep seeing this and I argue with people online about it. People were saying that, you know, this is because black women hate themselves if they would just wear their natural hair and all that sort of shit. I'm like, no, this had nothing to do with her hating herself or hating her hair. She just did a fucked up decision and used yeah. the wrong thing. If she had used the actual hair product, it would all have been good. She could have washed her hair, changed her hairstyle another time. But she did something stupid. This has nothing to do with black women so. hating their hair. And then, she, and then she she put down her she slipped down her real hair so she wasn't yeah, so wearing her real she hair. Was wearing her real hair. <laughs> so who making them comments? Probably black dudes. Nisi, you are going to Yes, be yes. They were, they were <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking like looking to see if anything uh, well. was coming up. But no, it's see that's the thing, is it's black dudes, and this is what pisses me off about the argument. And then I showed you a meme today, a girl had posted uh, Denzel Washington, his wife and their son, David Washington, the one who's in that movie, uh, Malcolm and Marie. And uh, she was saying how she had, he has his mom's face, but he has Denzel's voice. Because if you ever watched him in a movie, he sounds just like Denzel Washington. Mm -hmm. Excuse the fact that women, black women have insecurities and don't like to wear their natural hair. That had nothing to do with what she posted, first of all. It's like they just keep using oh, that. Oh, make that comment. It was another black guy. But you know what? But what, what is wrong with y'all? What is y'all problem with us? But see, this is my thing. And this is what bothers me about this narrative of black women hating ourselves just because we like to change up our hair. Everybody changes up their hair. When black dudes shave their hair off, when they keep themselves bald, do they hate themselves because they then, don't want to have their hair? And then I'll be seeing them. Especially women. Women are very versatile. Like there was a post that a black girl posted, and I totally agree with. She's like, she's like, I, I really want to go buy a wig, but I kind of want to wear my natural hairs. But I also want to get braids. That's literally what we be thinking. Like we like to change it up. We like to look different. Nobody wants to have the same hairstyle all the yeah. time. I and, like the same. But but hairstyle. well no no you don't you yes, change I you do. change I it up too. It. But but <laughs> well some people okay different strokes for different folks. But the fact of the matter is is everybody alters their hair. When girls with straight hair when they get perms to make it curly or when they use the curling irons to make it curly are they accused of self-hate no they're not this only happens to black women and you know what the sad thing is is we are the only women who actually have our hair covered why are y'all yeah. only coming at us when it comes to hair like you what? know why leave us alone. you know why they bother us because we gonna hold our own with or without white mm -hmm. people black people chinese any kind of person we hold our own and they we we like, literally, literally be living they in our own jealous. we literally have our own style we be doing our own thing regardless of what everybody else do and then we get judged for it then when everybody else stop start copying it then all of a sudden it's cool and trendy yeah like what kim kardashian having the big butt or you know the big. Do you lips. know how many people had a big butt right before her? And then they called the big car what? Fat. And hers ain't even real. They were called fat. Mm -hmm. You need to tell. You need to lose. Remember weight. how back. talking about like that that gorilla glue girl situation like when i saw that people saying sad. that i'm like that had has nothing to do with how black women start mm -hmm. her everybody like when people they do as a form of self-love and that's why they hate on us because we'd be loving ourselves <laughs> when i said when i when i told the dudes this i said it's artistic and it's creativity it like the old, like that the bronner brothers hair show they make airplanes out oh, of here yeah, they do all kinds of nice. stuff i didn't hear like is that considered self hate hey, he's like is that creativity i'm like it, it is, is creativity what the hell are you talking about it it's you very got an airplane on your head yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you guys do, I'm gonna point me. Like, uh, where? On the movie 
bats. And yeah, yeah, the, the booyah. Yeah, she's booyah. running around slapping people in the head. Yeah, yeah, she was. And she's like, could you lower your hair? <laughs> yeah, but it's creative. And I think I love that about us that we're so versatile. I don't think we, I, I love natural hair, but I don't think that's the only hair we should rock. And I don't think that if we don't rock it, that means we hate ourselves. That narrative needs to stop. But you know they ain't gonna stop because they hate me. Stop hating and start appreciating. Yes.